Hello, I'm David Sullivan. I'm a chemical pathologist at Royal Prince Alfred Hospital, which is part of New South Wales Health Pathology. Your doctor might ask you to have an HbA1c test in order to either monitor or nowadays diagnose the condition of diabetes. Hemoglobin A1c measures the proportion or percentage of hemoglobin protein that has been affected by glucose in the circulation. HbA1c is a particularly useful measurement because it is reflecting the process of tissue damage which occurs in diabetes. As you can imagine, if glucose sticks to proteins like hemoglobin A1c, it could also stick to other proteins and tissues like kidneys and cause damage there. The HbA1c test is a chemical test and in many ways chemistry is similar to cooking. One analogy that could be made is to think of the effects of glucose on hemoglobin A1c as a bit like the effects of sugar being made into caramel. As sugar sticks together to make toffee-like caramel, glucose sticks to hemoglobin to make an altered HbA1c. When people have a glucose test, it is telling us the glucose level at that particular instant, and the circumstances might mean that it is particularly high or low for a temporary reason. If we use an HbA1c, it is telling us the average glucose level over the past four months and therefore provides a much more even estimation of the patient's progress. Unlike some other metabolic tests, HbA1c is not affected by diet or exercise and therefore you do not need to fast before giving a sample. So whether you're having your HbA1c test for the diagnosis of diabetes or to follow management of a diabetic problem, you really don't need to have the test more than once every four months. Mm -hmm.